Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing? This is Bayo Adiyo, your favorite Nigerian American blogger, the Nigerian nomad. Uh, what I talk about on this channel is just uh, investment opportunities in Nigeria and just life in Lagos, just life in Nigeria in general. Um, and today I came to um, check in on the work of a consultant that I hired for an irrigation system. So we plan to do some in-house, but I also wanted to see how somebody else does it. So we hired them just to do one acre. Um, and today is just to show you guys the explanation of how, to, of how to set up an irrigation on your farm. So for me, all of this is new to me. Um, but I'm shooting this content for you guys that eventually in the future want to invest in agriculture, want to do your farming. Hopefully when you guys are at that step, this is not a new process to you guys. You guys are learning and following me on the journey. So we are in Adio Agro Park. As you guys can see, we have set up ridges and there is ridges pretty much all throughout this whole like 50 acres of land. And each land is owned, um, each land is one acre, two acre, half an acre. A lot of the people has invested in this land and this land is completely sold out. By the way, we, are, we inspected like a hundred acre land that we're gonna open up phase two in Kobak Bay as well area. Um, so if you guys are interested in that project, fill out the form below to get on the waiting list. And once we uh, finished all of our research and acquisition of that land, you guys will also be a part of this. I know everybody has been messaging me, texting me, saying they won in on this project, but we sold out pretty quickly. So, but you guys hang tight for the next one. Now, back to this topic of discussion. Um, so that uh, two acres land that we're going to show you guys pretty soon, is owned by one of our clients. Um, I'm not gonna say his full name, but his name is Mr. Femi. <laughs> and we are experimenting, well, not experimenting, we're actually starting with his own acre, um, two acres, and he's going to be uh, doing plantains. So the setup of the land is a little bit different from the other cassava maize and pineapples that we're planting in this environment. So today is to just walk you guys through the process of irrigation for a two acre land. Here is our agro consultant guy. He is creating an irrigation system. I wanted to see what his work looks like with one acre before we commit to everything else. So please, I'm seeing this for the first time. So please explain to us what's going on here. Let's let's. Go. Okay, all right. Um, oh sorry, my name is Adashon Laolani. So we're from Rains Agro Agricultural Integrated Service. So we are into drip solutions, drip accessories, and all that. So let me let's go. Let me show us uh, one or two things. So um, immediately the water is coming from the water channel. Okay. So it's coming here. Through here. Through here. So this is the main entrance. Okay. So this is the main water. entrance of the water. So guys. yeah, from here. So we can actually supply this first phase depending on the pressure of water we are having. Okay. So for us to have a maximum pressure because the planting is needing a lot of water. So we supply this phase. After this phase is done, then we supply the next phase. Which means that this, this, uh, this is like a control. This is a yeah, control valve. Control. So, so you lock one, one lock one. one. Oh, one so then let me show us. And uh, these, um, these are also individual control these, valves. These are in, yeah. individual control valves. So in case there's any faults with a particular line, yeah, so, yeah, so you can lock it. Okay. Yes, sir, and do whatever you want to do on the farm. Okay. okay. So the water comes in through here. Assuming we lock. This place is um, locked like this. So the water comes in through this channel. This is the submain. Okay. The submain pipe. Come into your connector. This is your drip um, line. Okay. So this is your drip line. So All it right. goes in. Then let me show us. Um, is this way. is this durable, sir? I was very expecting very something like this. No, no, no. Yeah. You know, so I why said why pipes. is why is this being used versus this? Okay. I'm just now, curious. Depending on the pressure of the water you're getting. Okay. Use this. This is light pipe. You start seeing crack and the more it's um facing sunlight and rain mm. the, uh, the less the durability 
that but this one sense. is made for water and this one can expand so too a bit can, can expand okay and this this um leaf flat is made for water and so it's durable how many years roughly this, this should give you four five years if we manage okay yeah, yeah, so, yeah so it should give you five years so depending on how you are able to manage even the drips depend on how you are able to manage it so in case there is any cut mm -hmm. so you can get your ah, thank you sir just cut it shape the place very well then you can join it so does this need to be buried ideally no it's not composite. it just is there let it, let it remain like that because if you bury it you, you you can't tell the pressure of water that will come in okay so you press you are trying to press the pressure of the water so okay. we leave it open so that it can expand when there is too much of pressure okay so now next question sir yeah. so when the water comes through yeah. i don't see a channel yeah, for let's, water let's, here let's, let's, okay okay that's why i actually did one okay at some place. So you have to manually um yeah we have to manually create it yeah. yes. these are the extras that you had right i didn't calculate that the place is uh, measured with 50 by 100. oh it's 60 so by 100 yeah, yeah. yeah so this is this is what we call oh okay this is what we call emitter so you can also close these so too you, no you can't close it so it's oh, like it's already banner. open like that. Oh, okay, okay. So immediately okay. water comes in, it if, comes in. If it go emit, it emits. How how much far out no, 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 does no, it just go? Just within this place. Okay. I'll show you a video. So it's just within this section. Okay. So and um, before we plant our plantain, we have to make a hole, make it um hollow. Then before you put your um plantlets, okay. You put your um poultry manure. They cover with sand, but you see, as you still need to make that place hollow. Okay. Yes, so, so the water that is coming will be reserved inside, in just there. like you have an O, so so that there won't be too much of evaporation. Okay. So that will help you to preserve water as well. So where um in which um side do you have to plant directly underneath or to the left or right? Underneath, if you like plants by the side, anywhere you want to plant. But the the O is coming from under. So I guess what I'm trying to figure out is as the trees grow taller yeah would this be in the way if you you just keep it there okay and we'll just go around it I just go around it okay so you just keep giving it water so even you can leave it there during um rainy season okay yes you can you don't need to remove it so just that um ability to maintain it is the most important thing so your yeah. staffs that are maintaining uh the planting plant farm when yeah. they're doing it in, so what does maintaining mean for pipes it has to do with the way they handle it in terms of um, um, doing their weeding product, when they are do doing their weeding, yeah. so they don't make sure they they, they, cut. they cut it. Okay, you understand? Okay. Then uh, how to manage it? So you don't just take your maybe they want to remove it, start folding it. You understand? Okay. So always make sure it is it is straight. Okay, and um, it's the same reason why you're using this too. It's the yeah. same for this yeah, for flexibility. Expand. Yeah. Okay. Can expand. All right. Would have any leakages here? Is this sealed? No, it's not sealed. There's a there's a there's a thing we use to to spear it. Okay. You understand? So and if there, there be anything, you just you can remove this. So everything is removable. So just in case, yeah. which I like, right. just in case there's a a leak somewhere, you can quickly change that part. Like this, like this. That's very good. Okay, okay. That's good because when something breaks you don't have to replace the whole thing you can just replace sections it's all under this yeah, yeah. so there's no any hole from any, any side. side yeah so yeah. if that is done you're good to go i'm even a i'm even a plastic expert i know how to main parts very well oh, okay <laughs> Thank mm. you. Yeah, that one is not it's, it's a small thing and i also noticed that you're using plastic instead of metal for for all these um parts yeah, that's that's what yeah that's what it makes sense it won't rust anyways yeah. so instead of uh ridges for these plantains are you saying that we have to dig deeper all throughout no 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 that's the emitter the face of the emitter that's where you're digging oh okay okay but we don't have to dig you don't have to no no the no. whole thing so if you are planting plant leg, you dig this place okay then that's one you dig this place. is that how far the plantlets needs yeah. to be planted we at, i did this this is um close to uh 1.5 uh, yeah you know this is uh six feet six, 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 six feet, feet. yeah 
We want to love the board at least. No, no. <laughs> we, I, I did, we did mention it. Yes. Oh, are you with your team? I don't know. I mean, I get my team. Right? Okay, let's use it. Mm. So, we are looking two, at making three. it the next one seven feet. It's close to six feet. Maybe a 5.5. Five. Five point five. So, we are looking why, at making the next Why seven? Seven. The reason why? is that we, we are actually looking at, you know, um, this is one. At least, the one, one we sit here. Mm. Later on. Yeah, and then yeah. spread. Mm. So, so spread. Yeah. So, so even so while spreading the soccer, yes. it's advisable you have mi maximum of two soccer. Okay. Yes, then. Par stand. Beside one standard stand. So if there's one growing, maximum of two. So that you have good um, fruits and big fruits. So if you have too much of soccer around it, they'll be fighting for nutrients. So it's best you, you detach them, just leave two. Okay. So two we go out and so these are spaced out yeah, um, yeah how, how, what's the distance between these this is um eight feet that eight feet yeah. are you sure that's not eight feet yeah. <laughs> like, eight feet. <laughs> that's like, like six that makes like it's four it's feet like, no it's even more than four feet. one like two three four five so it's like five to six mm, feet it's almost six. It's not eight, well, what we are trying to do is that one looking at the land size mm -hmm. you understand so then how do we meet up with our profit targets yeah so and one thing about planting is that depending there there are two ways to planting your planting one is either you are after your uh, your food or you are after both this fruit and the soccer yeah and we want both so, so so depending on the two so if you are going for only fruit then you can leave give a lot of space but we are going for soccer between the first um seven eight months you have enough suckers to start selling. So later on in the future, you can now say, okay, let me detach this. Let me remove from this one one. Mm, let me like remove this. one and yeah. this piece. And for you guys that are watching this video, so a sucker is like a part that you can replant yeah. in another farm. Yeah. So the beauty of planting is that not only can you make profit off of the fruits, you can also take the suckers and sell to other people. Um, or... Plantlets. So we are yep. doing plantlets. So if now later on you learn how to culture yes. the plantlets. So which is th th that is the new um, way, to, way do to do it. Do. So we are shortcutting this process a bit. Of in, in yes. Of the infections and uh, when it keeps uh, giving you fruit, most of them tends to um, wear out. Wear out and they just fall. You understand? So because you plant a mother that the baby comes out of. I don't know if, I, if you get what I'm so but if you are planting a plantlet it comes directly from the roots okay. so it's just like you, you are planting you, tra you are transplanting it's, it's your loom uh, 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 you are transplanting mm -hmm. your um, orange citrus you are transplanting your palm yes, mm -hmm. so it comes directly from the from this uh, from the ground and it will give you fast suckers around mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. Yes, so the, the the stem tends to be Stronger. okay then if you have uh, wood ash yeah you can be putting wood ash what's wood ash wood that's ash if you that's what we have there this morning, yeah. Yeah. Bond, this bond, white well, yeah. so just be pointing it at the base it gives it for very fruits. strong for the food all right welcome back guys man isn't that very informative isn't it cool to kind of see learn a little bit about planting learn about how irrigation works if you enjoyed this video please at the minimum hit the like button it would help me uh, boost my channel it will help more people to see these videos and if you like contents like this consider subscribing to the channel because you get and hit the notification bell that means you get alerted for every time i post a new update to this uh to this project that i'm working on and lastly if you're interested in phase two because this one is sold out if you're interested in phase two fill out the form below and I can get you, and I can make sure that I contact you as soon as it's available. A lot of people have requested for phase two, so make sure that your name is on the waiting list. These are the people that I'm going to reach out to first before I promote it publicly. Um, so yeah, other than that, lastly guys, remember, it is your time to rise and let your light shine. Peace. <music>